I'm Talia, I'm the founder and creator of Kakadu Plum Company, a social enterprise that celebrates Indigenous culture and Australian native ingredients. I'm currently standing on Nunu country, about an hour and a half north of Broome. We're currently with Elder Bruno and his partner Marion, learning about this incredible landscape. So we have boat jobs. See, the grubbing comes for a certain time of the year and it stops. But the Jalangin is there all the time. So we've been doing the Jalangin and we've got so much out of that. And bush lemongrass. You can use it in a tea too, make a tea out of it too. And it works wonders in the body. After it seeds, it all goes back into the, into the roots. That's the time to that's why we, when we harvest, look how fat they are. Beautiful. Gelangen here. They all grow together. The ma lemongrass. Yeah. What What do you use that for? What's in your traditional knowledge that you use? I would use it for, for, for put it in the food like that, you know. Oh, yeah. you boil it up for a while and get hot water and put that in that day and then drink it. What's Everybody feeling better, yeah. It just ah. works for the human body like that. So we make a boomerang out from this tree now. Ah. Yeah, very hard wood, very, very hard. It's a chef, the golden chef. Mm. Yeah. Come on the area, you do harvesting there so much here and then you leave that area for yeah. next year and then another year you go, you go another yeah, area then. Yeah, we've just um, basically weeded all around our pathways, around where we harvest, and then at night we burn them because they, they're not going to go anywhere because we get the dew and we, you know, if it does do a little bit of, go a little way, it's not going to go very far, but it actually helps to cut down the fuel because we, now, for the next couple of months, we've just got to keep cutting down the fuel so that we don't get very bad fires through here. So that's sort of the, that's what we've sort of worked out over the years, just trying to get rid of really introduced grasses. It's just control burning really, and reducing fuel. But we don't take so much out of a tree, we just like we're pruning it, you know. Get so much out of one tree, not too much. Then you go to another tree, do that. Just leave it on. You see area where you've been, you see what you've done. And after the big rain, next big rain come, you see that tree double up them. Get more big and more huge, you know. It, mm. You said you're not taking too much out of it. You're leaving so much back with it too.